really useful Photoshop brushes. Um, it's a really simple way to do this. It's using the library tool again. Now remember, not everybody's going to have this on show here on the right hand side. So to make sure you've got that available, go to window and just make sure libraries is ticked and it will be there. So open up any image. You'd think, mm, you can't get a brush out that really. Well, you can. Um, then go over to your libraries panel here on the right hand side. Click the plus button and another submenu appears. Click the create from image icon. Give it a minute or two for it to do its thing. And another window will shortly open up. Here we go. It's all sorts of things on here, the default settings and um, patterns. But the one we want this time, it's shapes. And there you can see there is the shape, the outline of your image there. So you can invert it so it's that way around. You can make that more black if you want something really solid. But if you just want an outline, and they make really good brushes, just turn the detail down. Let's take it right down. So you've just got the outline of her. Probably somewhere around there. Something like that. If you want to get rid of some of the bits around her, there's an eraser tool. Make it bigger, smaller. And you can erase bits that you want there. You don't have to, but... Now, just take a few bits off here and there. And that's that. All you do then, save to CC libraries. And once it's done it, click close. And after a few seconds, it appears as an icon over here in the libraries where it says capture shape four. And that is it there. So it's a shape at the moment. We want to make it into a paintbrush. Just open a blank document, fill it with um, white, left click on the captured shape that you've just made and just drag it onto your layer in your layers panel and it will appear all right um, and then as you would do as you, when you're making a brush anyway you just crop into it Okay, the crop, edit, define brush preset, let's call it dancer, click OK, go to your brush tool and there's your brush that you've just made, it will have a different, couple of different colours, that there for now. Uh, alter your brush, hit your brush icon, brush tip shape, move your spacing, shape dynamics, and scattering, colour dynamics if you want different colours. I've got those up all the way up there. All right, brush size is a bit too big, so we'll just make that a bit smaller. There you go. Easy peasy. That's just another very easy way to make a brush.